What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to quickly batch edit and batch color correct your photos using the camera raw editor in Adobe Photoshop. <laughs> So this is a really good trick if you have a bunch of photos that you wanna apply the same basic edit to across the board from beginning to end. So if you have a bunch of photos that were shot at the same time of day or under the same lighting conditions, this is a good, quick, easy way to edit all of your photos in a few clicks. So I'm gonna take this sequence here and I'm gonna select all the photos and bring them into Adobe Photoshop. And these are raw files, so you'll see it'll bring up the camera raw editor right away. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna edit my first photo in the sequence. And I'm just gonna do the edit to get the photo with the exact look that I want it to get. So basically just kind of adjusting the contrast here and the color temperature. Now, if you're interested in color correcting, I do have a video on my channel using the camera raw editor to color correct. So I will link that below if you wanna take a look at how I usually approach color correction with my photos. So I'm just gonna get this one as close as I can here. And this is the look that I'm gonna to apply to the rest of the photos in this sequence. So getting the first one right is really important. And so that looks pretty good. So let's just check the before and after here real quick. And you can see it just adds a lot more contrast, kind of cleans up the whites and the blacks. So let's go back to single view. And then basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom to the last photo in the sequence. And I'm gonna shift click to select all the photos. And then I can either with my mouse right click and go to sync settings, or I can use the shortcut option S and that will bring up the synchronized dialog box. And basically what that is, is the dialog that will allow you to copy and paste all of your adjustments from that first photo you did to the rest of the photos that you have selected. And you can choose to do all of the settings or you can check and uncheck these boxes to just bring some individual ones over. So for this case, I'm just gonna bring all of the settings I did for that first photo into the rest of the photos and I'm just gonna hit okay. And you can see on the left hand side here, it'll process all of the photos in your sequence with those exact same settings as the first initial photo that you edited. So it's a really quick way to just edit everything all at once. Now, if you wanna save them as JPEGs, basically I'm just gonna select all again and then just go right down here to save images. I'm gonna select the folder that I wanna save them to. And I've got an edits folder basically already built out and ready to go right here. So I'm gonna select the edits folder and you can choose all kinds of options here as far as your file naming, your file size. I'm gonna keep the file size pretty low just for the demo here. You can choose your color space, your default size, your resolution, all these type of options that you can select. And then basically I'm just gonna hit save. And you'll see on the bottom left here, it is processing all of these raw files into saved JPEGs with all of the edits that I applied to the sequence. So I'll check back here when these are finished. All right, so we're finishing up here and once these are done, I am going to click done to get out of the camera raw editor. And you'll see if I go over to my edits folder, I've got all of my nicely edited photos here, all color corrected, all processed in a matter of minutes, just a couple quick clicks. And I have an entire sequence of 68 photos here, all color corrected exactly how I want them. And I'll take you over to another sequence here just to give you another example. So this is a rapid fire sequence. It was all shot under the exact same lighting conditions. Every single photo looks exactly the same as far as the color and the toning. So I know that any edit that I apply to the first photo in the sequence will also look great throughout the rest of the sequence given the exposure and the lighting is exactly the same all the way throughout. So again, I'm just gonna edit my first photo here, get it exactly how I want it to look. Do a quick edit here over in the adjustments panel. All right, and that's looking pretty good. So again, I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom of the sequence here, 26 photos later. I'm gonna hit option S for synchronize. I'm gonna bring all of these properties over 
with all those photos I have selected and you'll see on the left here, every single photo is adjusted, including those great ones right in the middle there. So I'm gonna select all the photos and I'm gonna go down here, save images. I'm gonna select the folder on my desktop, which is going to be the Powerade edits folder. I've got my document name and my file name all ready to go, my file size low, and I'll hit save. And you can see we're processing these 26 files here. Okay, so that was super quick. It took about 30 seconds to edit this entire sequence. We're all set here, so I'll get out of the camera raw editor and I'll go over to my edits folder and you can see we've got the whole sequence here edited nice exactly how I want it in just a couple of clicks. So the batch editor in camera raw, a great trick if you want to edit a sequence of photos very quickly. Thanks so much guys. If you found this video helpful, please do me a favor and subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know any questions you have, any comments on this process or this workflow, and I'll check you at the next one.